The coastal city of New Plymouth welcomed a field of 67 elite men onto the start line, including triathlon royalty Javier Gomez from Spain. The water was slightly choppy as the men commenced their 750 metre ocean swim off Nomoto Beach. The famous Spaniard Gomez came out of the swim just off the back of the leaders and exited transition with the chase group with some solid work to do. The early leaders included Richard Varga, Sam Ward, Italy's Gianluca Pizzatti and Taylor Reid with a gap of seven seconds on the chase group. The chasers included Gomez and New Zealand's Ryan Sissons. As the athletes rode their way across the course, the two lead groups formed into one to settle in across the technical and hilly bike sections. The event hub welcomed a freight train of chaos as the elite men entered their second transition before making their way out onto the five kilometre run. Australia's Luke Willen pushed the pace early on the run to lead. Germany's Valentin Verns attempted to make an impact on the run, but didn't quite have the power. With Gomez hot on their heels in the mix, the men were all running scared today. Hayden Wilde attempted to stick with the leader, but it was Willen's day. He was running so strong out in front. Germany's Justus Nischlag and Sam Ward moved through into leading positions. And as the Australian hit the blue carpet, he began to celebrate. He crossed the line to win the race. Germany's Nischlag claimed silver, New Zealand's Sam Ward the bronze. Um, it feels absolutely amazing. It's been a long time since uh, my last World Cup win, so it's been two years because um, Mulva was the last time I got a win, so it's really fantastic to get a win here today, especially seeing I missed out raising here last year because I uh, cut my foot on a little nail and it kind of put a bit of a hole in things. I think I had my right eyes up about 100 metres up the road at all times and the only time I got to see if I was doing any good was at the U-turns and I was like, oh yeah, I'm getting a little bit here or sometimes they'd be catching me. But it was nice to get to the top of that hill there, turn around and see, like, I'm, I've got it here. I can kind of enjoy it down into the finish straight and really, like, m enjoy this moment because you don't get many of them out here. Uh, it was fun. It was fun. Not my best race ever, but uh, uh, really, really solid on the bike. I felt pretty good and... And I uh, felt good on the run as well, but uh, yeah, just went too far on T2 with my bike and had to turn around <laughs> to put it in the right place. So I lost a few seconds there that cost me, uh, you know, I had to start too fast on the first lap and, and I was a bit run out of energy in the last one. But uh, generally a pretty good race, a lot of things improve and uh, given the training I've been doing until now, I'm pretty happy.